This section deals with self-esteem. Uh, there weren't a ton of videos that I thought you would actually want to watch on this one. They were pretty corny. Uh, so I thought we would do what we would normally do in a classroom, which is have a little conversation, a little life advice. We'd chat about it, uh, kind of give you my two cents on what I know from being on this planet for a long time. And really what it comes down to is if somebody's telling you how great they are and how amazing their life is and how fantastic everything is, chances are it's a little bit of bravado and it's not going that great for them. Um, you know, I just look at it like, um, you know, something we all have low periods and we all have that time when, you know, we don't feel great about ourselves, uh, you know, inside, outside, we're just not feeling it. And uh, the key is, you know, uh, at the kidshealth.org uh, has a kind of cool part on their website, so I kind of cut and pieced it here for you, where you can kind of go through and look at the different sections and kind of figure out, yeah, we all have those low periods in our life where we're just feeling, you know, not the best. So with that in mind, to build our self-esteem self up, and it's easy, it's so easy to get down on yourself these days, right? Like it's, there's a lot of people that want to tell you and push you and, and, and put you down and, you know, we don't need to do it to ourselves too is kind of my my way of thinking. So with that in mind, let's look at the different ways uh, that we can help kind of deal with when our self-esteem is a little low. So I'm gonna go through and just walk walk it through with you here. So number one was be with people who treat you well. So who are your energy givers versus your energy takers? Who's the person, your people that you can be with um, in this section, answer that, that actually build you up, right? And we know those people that are sometimes like Eeyore, who's one of my beloved uh, Winnie the Pooh characters, but you don't want to be that, right? So uh, say things, number two, say things that are helpful to yourself. Like I said before, we are uh, pretty tough on ourselves and um, you know the world will try and push you down too. So we don't need to be always that hard on ourselves. So what could you do that, that you can say to yourself where you're like, you know what, I'm actually a pretty good at this, right? And I feel good about that. And you know, just think about those type of things that you can kind of do a little affirmation. Number three, you have to accept what's not uh, perfect and you kind of have to come to a, you know, uh, an agreement on like, yep, yeah, that's it. So, um, you know, I always get teased about being bald and it's all right, man. I save, I've been saving a fortune on haircuts for 25 years and, uh, you know, I'm pretty limited for Halloween costumes. You know, it's going to have to be Mr. Clean or Mr. Clean, but at the same, or Pitbull. Um, but at the same time, you just kind of get to used to, yeah, I'm, I'm not perfect. It's cool. <laughs> that's all right. I do a lot of other things really well too. Okay. Uh, set goals and work towards them as a way to kind of build your self-esteem. Um, you know, it could be something as simple as I'm going to work out every day for 30 days, right? 30 days in a row and see how I feel at the end of that. And it's a natural kind of way of boosting, right? Um, or, you know, what, what do you want to accomplish? And once you get that feeling of accomplishment, you feel good about it. And that kind of builds that self-esteem too. Uh, number five, uh, focus on what goes well. Um, you know, I use the example of when I, in the classroom, when I pick up my kids from school, I have uh, two stars and a wish deal where they have to tell me two positives and one negative. Otherwise, it's just like, you know, this happened and this isn't fair and I don't like this kid and then this one thing happened in gym class. You gotta give me two good ones to one bad one because there's always better um, than there is negative. So it kind of focuses on what makes them focus on what goes well. So every time I pick up my kids, uh, it's always one of the two things that were great, the two stars, what was the one thing that you kind of wish would be a little bit better or different. And it's a great way to kind of focus that there's always going to be better in the world, right? So focus on what's going well in your world. And the last one is kind of a funny one because you don't really naturally think about it. And it's kind of selfish in a way when you think helping others. So do something to boost somebody else makes you feel good. It's, it's a weird thing. So an example I might use in the classroom would be uh, when I, um, you know, a, a kid does a great project. I'm marking a bunch of projects on Sunday night and I go in uh, the next day and I find the kid and I'm like, hey, like, I marked like three or four really bad ones in a row and I was getting really depressed and then I marked yours and it was awesome. And I just want to thank you because it was above and beyond. <laughs> you, you have a knack for doing that. That is great. So the kid goes away feeling awesome and I get that kind of like a little endorphin rush from being like, I, I think that kid appreciated that and I feel good about it and I feel like I'm a good human being for, for doing that. So it's a little bit selfish, but pump somebody else's tires. Tell them how great they are at something or how much you appreciate something that they do and it's a natural way to boost your own self-esteem too. So... Go through, answer those questions. It'd be super easy to use a little AI on this uh, in your responses, but don't. Uh, the AI detector will get flagged and you'll get zero. So just be honest. Grammatical errors and all, just write. It's a natural little bit of reflection. There's lots of marks here for you to get, um, but I want to hear what your uh, kind of ways to analyze and how you would kind of look at it when we have those low moments, which we all have.
So sorry, a long-winded section, but I couldn't find anything that I thought would be really of value to you uh, for YouTube that you wouldn't laugh at and kind of be like, well, that's lame. So hopefully this kind of helps more of a classroom type chat. Go ahead and answer them now.